me in studio okay so Floret Cosmetics was founded in 2015 as a functional brand of products which focuses on targeting skin and hair problems so Floret uses herbal extract sources and the main indigenous plants are agave aloe rose hip prickly pear which grows wild in the mountain of Lesotho and harvested by locals which then create upliftment and job opportunities for the rural communities so this is killing two birds at one stone because when I actually spoke to our guest over here I'm like you could be doing anything because you're well educated woman you could be in an office you could be milking it but instead you have created your own business and with that you're also uplifting the community so help me welcome the florette cosmetics ceo miss mampo chabane with us in studio morning a good morning listeners how are you I'm on this cold day it's not cold yet i feel it, it, it's still gonna be more cold <laughs> exactly exactly like let's give it probably towards end of april yeah. we're going to feel it yeah <laughs> but we do we do have products that are gonna keep you warm. i mean <laughs> we already started with this interview i like that i like that so your story is so inspiring to me and we were also speaking about it off air why was it so important for you to help rural communities of lesotho at large to starting your own business my passion has always been about creating employment. I did electrical engineering, but I quit my job one and a half years later. Yeah. I just worked for one and a half years. And I started make sewing. Mm -hmm. I didn't go to school to sew, but I, I, I started sewing. I made bed linen and household stuff. Yeah. And then in the process, I, I I just told myself that I think I need to empower other women. So I I opened a school and I taught over 200 women wow. who now have their own industries that I'm still supporting. Mm. And I'm very proud to say that we have a couple of women who are big in the industry of the textile industry now. Yeah. And then when I got bored and they had taken over my market, then I started the cosmetics. Mm. So in the process, my, my, my main passion was how am I going to create at least 2,000 uh, jobs, direct jobs. Yeah. And, but I just couldn't figure out. So I went, uh, we opted for the, for the network marketing, mm -hmm. whereby we don't take our product to stores though we have been getting lots of requests from the major brands, yeah. uh, the major uh, supermarkets. Mm -hmm. But now we said, no, we'll go step by step, trying to teach people how they gonna, they, we can empower them with the, with the cosmetics. So we're selling network marketing, people join yeah. and they buy stock and then they open distribution ships. So we have two levels. There is a distributor who who sells to the others in stock, mm -hmm. and then there are the consultants who buy the stock from the distributors. I like that. I like I, I like how you literally killing every avenue in terms of making sure that you include the community and you include the society in whatever that you're doing. Because essentially, if we don't uplift our people, then we're not going to go yeah. anyway. But uh, we, we saw some hiccups in that model that uh, we thought maybe we are not still not doing enough. Yeah. We, we tried to work around on how to reach out more so that we have better incentives for our customers who are loyal to our, uh, to our brand mm -hmm. and those who sell because there are a lot of referrals uh, for the products. So upon the referrals, we have made a model whereby you get some incentives for for every referral that you make mm. and all your descendants that come out from your your direct referrals you you get substantial uh, amount of money from those referrals up to 3.5 million nice nice mm. so yeah we won't shy away from the fact that we just heard you speaking about being an engineer <laughs> so you're an electrical engineer by profession and then you said that you decided to leave 
the, the, the industry, not even working for as long as a year, right? One and a half years. Yes. So why do you think your purpose was to create your own business and um, to not work for someone else essentially? I think um, I liked electricity because I used to fix stuff. I used uh, before I went to do my electrical engineering when I was still in high school. Mm -hmm. I used to start fixing stuff, appliances, and then I started fixing electronic uh, electronic appliances. Mm -hmm. So uh, I thought I wanted to do electrical engineering, but when I got to the field, I thought it was a bit stiff. Yeah. and kind of boring and not doesn't give me enough um, room to be innovative mm -hmm. so that's why I, I I try to think of other opportunities that would uh, that will help me grow yeah. with creativity creativity and um, I then started with um, some inventions that I made mm -hmm. I currently hold seven patents nice uh, unfortunately, none of them are in the market yet. Okay. But um, I had I have seven patents mm -hmm. that were more on the mechanical side, because other were locks for the for the windows, so that even when somebody breaks your your window or you breaks the butler doors, then they can't open the the window yeah. because it has its own lock. Okay. So there were some for the curtains, the curtain hooks. Yeah. So there were a couple of them in different areas, but more on the mechanical side. You're very into innovative, very <laughs> innovative. Indigenous plants, how did you find it about um, there being indigenous plants where you were uh, in terms of the, the, the surroundings of Lesotho and the community you were in? And how did it get to you starting your own cosmetics line? Because you said that you were sewing and then you started your own school and then you decided to just step away from that and create your own cosmetics line. So how did that process go about? Um, in Lesotho, you know, Lesotho is famous for the aloe Vaseline. Mm -hmm. And because I, I didn't want to copy what is already on the market, yeah. but now you can't reinvent the wheel, then you just make it better. True. So I decided to uh, add on more of the herbs that we have on the on the vaseline that's when we came up with the with the petroleum jelly with aloe mm -hmm. and the rose hemp and now we have another one with aloe and the and the moringa oil since now we are here and this is the home of moringa mm -hmm. so we are now using a lot of moringa oils and the powder for our products so and then we we, we we tried to do a lot of research on all the indigenous plants that we have. That's why we have so much variety on the on our products. Mm -hmm. And even on the face wash, we use some of the herbs that we think are weeds. So we are really trying to to use a lot of the stuff because yeah. we're thinking that they're not there by mistake. Yeah. They are there for us to use to help us with our skins and with our health as well. Don't you fear the sustainability of the indigenous plants? Say they will be extinct in a few years to come, or is there a plan process in terms of sustaining those plants and making sure that they're always there for you guys to use them and help the communities, whether it be by them buying your products or it be by them offering you a type of services to create those products? Uh, we go to the community, we go to the mountains and teach them how to do a proper harvesting mm -hmm. so that they don't kill the plot, the, 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 the aloes. And now we are happy to, we, we are happy now because the university, because we are still busy with the research on how to, to make seedlings of the rose hip. Mm -hmm. We do have a lot of that, but we think in the future it's not going to be enough. Mm -hmm. So, and the way it grows, it has, it has to be ingested. And then from the faces of either the animal or the people, then, yeah. it, then it, it grows. Yeah. So now the University of Lesotho, they have discovered the method of doing the seedlings. So we'll be buying the seedlings and then giving them out to the communities to use to uh, also help with the soil erosion. Nice. Yeah. Nice.
Okay, so before we get into the different products that your company has to offer, I want to know about the benefits of these plants and what they have towards our general skin, health care, hair care, and body fitness. Okay. I think because of the environment and the altitude of our mountains, mm -hmm. our herbs have more uh, content of the, of the vitamins and antioxidants. Mm -hmm. And that is why you find that the, our aloe, people prefer the aloe from Lesotho yeah. as opposed to the one that is in the, in the lowlands where there's a lot of pollution. True. So, rosy, for instance, it has got a lot of vitamin C. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, it has not been very uh, publicized here in, in our region mm -hmm. because most of, most of it goes to goes to the European market. Oh, okay. Yes. So all the rose that is harvested, most of, 90% of it goes to the European market. Yeah. Oh, that's actually sad. It's sad, but we, I think we, people are starting to appreciate uh, the benefit of our, of our local herbs now. Mm, mm. So that's why we say now we really have to invest in, in, in growing them further so that we, bring the, uh, the cosmetics to the people mm. yeah why is it so important for people especially Africans to go back to using the healthy herbal products which the ingredients are found at our disposal that's because they always say what you put on the skin goes directly to your bloodstream I actually saw that on your Instagram yeah. and it I was does. like wow <laughs> it does it does that's why you're seeing us with cancer mm -hmm. and many other ailments is because of what we are putting on our skin. Our skin is the largest uh, organ in our in our body, yes. and whatever you put on your skin, you should know that it goes directly to your blood. Mm. And you have to be very careful and have to know exactly what you are putting on your skin. And we know that the black people we like whitening our skin, mm. and we don't know what that what damage that is doing to our skin and to our health as well. So we are saying let's go back to the basics and take care of our skin from early age yeah from early age give your skin what your skin needs yeah your skin needs new, proper nutrition so now you're providing with the herbs that will maintain your skin because when you reach 40 something years between 30 from 30 yeah your skin will start changing no matter how it used to look, but mm -hmm. then it's gonna dry up, it's gonna wrinkle, it's gonna have pigmentation yeah. and all those problems. But if you start taking care of it from an early age, you will see that you, you're, you're going to be ageless. And I mean, it makes sense because we are in a continent that has a completely different climate. So we can't rely on your European um, market products all the time we need to rely on what is comfortable for for us and we are so close to our roots that why not take something that is literally can grow out of your backyard and see if it has qualities enough to be used for your skin or for your health in general certainly certainly all the herbs that we are placed here in this continent with we are in eden with the proper uh, vegetation mm -hmm. to be able to take care of us Mm. And we are we have partnered with doctors, dermatologists, who are also helping us formulate more products that will address more um, pro deep problems. Yeah. But still, we're using our local and of all African extracts. Yeah. Yes. I like that. So the Florette Cosmetics consists of the Lekala Petroleum Jelly and the toner and the tissue oil and I, actually guys i wish we could actually have like a live camera to show you the products that are on the table because wow it's a lot it's a lot so if you can please tell us about each product its benefits what is it used for how should people use it etc okay if i start with the with the petroleum jelly mm -hmm. we have the one that with lehala which is aloe I really recommend the aloe and the rose, the lehala and murubi, 
we have changed the branding now because now I think we used to do Lekhala and Morbe with our own language. So now we have changed the name to Aloe and Rose Oil. Yeah. Because of the high content of the rose oil and the antioxidants, it really clears your skin. It helps with the black marks. It helps with the black armpits. Mm -hmm. It helps with. It, it removes all the. The pigment. It, it works on the pigmentation, yeah. and uh, with the healing properties of aloe in it, it really. When you hear the um, the testimonies that come from that, you really will be amazed. Yeah. You'll find the testimonies on our YouTube channel and on our social media pages. Yeah. And we have the Moringa and the Alo uh, PJ. Mm -hmm. And that one also addresses a lot of those issues. You know the Moringa is very good as yes. combined with the with the Alo for your healing. Mm -hmm. So people with uh, pimples, with um, with cuts, yeah. yes, then that one really addresses those. And your ringworm, though the rose hip also helps a lot. Okay. So, and then we have the our master product, which is the glycerin. Yes. This glycerin, um, I'm 100% sure we are the first people to enrich it with the cactus. Okay. Unfortunately, we couldn't patent that. Mm -hmm. But we have gone extra mile because we haven't stopped only on the cactus mm -hmm. we are put we're actually going to we're putting on more extracts into into the glycerin nice to help clear your skin to help heal your skin to help keep your skin warm okay so in winter when you put this you're gonna stay warm and you are not going to have any cracked hills yeah and it works on your stretch marks as well nice. and it's very good moisturizer for your hair as well so does it work in conjunction with the jelly? Or? You can use both because the, the jelly is going to clear your skin to be a little bit lighter. It's going to remove all that sunburn. Yeah. So it really clears your skin. But so Mama didn't even correct me on A. I'm even embarrassed to even call myself Musutu. How do you pronounce petroleum jelly? Lekhala. Lekhala. Lekhala, we know is the many. It's alo. Yes. In English, it's alo. Hmm, I need to go back <laughs> to freeze things. <laughs> I need to go back and recuperate. It's a, it's okay. It's okay. okay. So, um, when should they be used? Like, is it is there a special way to use it? Should your body be clean when they use it? Should it be used yeah. in the morning, in the afternoon, at night? Okay. We have a face wash. Mm -hmm. So, if you want you to use it on your face, we have face products. Mm -hmm. We have your face wash, you have your toner, you mm -hmm. have the tissue oil, mm -hmm. we have the uh, face cream, yeah. we have uh, the sunscreen, yeah. and we have a face mask. As okay, well. okay. Yeah, I didn't see cream. that on social yeah, media. Yeah, I forgot to bring up sample as well. We do have a face mask. Okay. That is, is it a is it a peel on or is no, it no, the no. one that you just wash no, off? It's a clay. It's a clay mask. Okay. Yeah, it's a clay mask that is enriched with enriched with aloe. Rose it and the and the moringa, yeah, with your bento necklace. I'm quite yeah. sad that yeah. you didn't bring that I, one. I think I would have loved it, yeah, <laughs> certainly. Certainly, I will call you one, we'll send them to you, we'll send one, for yeah, you. come and try. It's very, it's very good, yeah. And um, to use the products, you wash first, mm -hmm. very soon, like next month, we are going to have our bar soaps, nice, and you wash and then you apply them. And I would say the glycerin, if you want to apply it on your face, combined with the Vaseline, mm -hmm. you use it in the evening. Okay. And then in the morning, you use your face cream with your sunscreen. Okay. You should always, always put your sunscreen. Right. No matter how cloudy it looks like. Yes. Our climate has changed, and we need to protect our skin. From any age, you should use sunscreen. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. All I the agree. time. I agree. So, what did if, is it for all types of skin or does it lean towards your dry skin or your oily skin or combination? Uh, mostly we find that the oily skin is because your skin is dry. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's secreting a lot of oil trying to moisturize it itself. Oh, okay. Yeah. So when your skin is moisturized and it has got proper antioxidants to fight off all the pollution and what, then your skin will always be... Um, 
it will always yeah. level up yeah. to where it needs yeah. to be. So I would say for all skin types. Yeah. Yeah. The results, as you said earlier, I mean, just get me to that point where you first saw your picture of um, one of your few clients. How did it feel? And how has the support been from the people out there that have bought your products and are living testimonies of the results? Most of them, uh, everybody, I think everybody who sells the product products, that's because they had used them at first mm -hmm. and they fell in love with the products mm. and they saw what uh, what they've do, been doing to their skins mm. and the first time I had the first testimony I was like oh thank you Heavenly Father mm. God is good mm. and he provided these uh, plants for us to use and I think we should go full force and explore more and bring on more products yeah. so now we have a hair range very soon the pigmentation combo is going to come out mm -hmm. and the acne treatment is going to come out mm -hmm. like i told you that we are working uh, we have partnered with dermatologists yes. so some of the other treatments that really need medical attention we refer them like removing of your words mm -hmm. and all those mm -hmm. so we refer you to the doctor to do treatment nice yeah. i like that yeah so when i contacted your team a few weeks ago um they actually told me that you are out of the country and i also saw that your distributors people that you distribute to are everywhere in the country from botswana to yeah. mauritius to india to the u.s australia is taking your brand globally the main aim Yes, because well, if you can see, because of um, because Africa has more help than the European uh, countries, mm -hmm. you find that they really prefer our our help. Mm. So people who have come in, who've been going abroad, they've always been taking products with them to to try. Yeah. And now we really we are really looking at how to really now expand and hit the international markets but we want to finish with our local market first yeah. so that we can see that we have covered well and we don't focus on making the money abroad while our people here are still using the products that are made from overseas and those people are not even using the products but they're giving us what is really destroying our skins yeah. and our health yeah. so we have still have to, a long way to teach our people that Make sure that what you use, you know what is made of. Sure, and sure. don't concentrate on whitening your skin or trying to make it look nice today because within a very short time, it, it's, gonna, it's going to embarrass you. It's going to be damaged. It's going to be very damaged. And some of the damages now, you, now you have to go and see the doctor yeah. and try to get medical treatment. Hmm. That means now you're sick exactly which you could have just stayed yeah. away from yeah. those products yeah. from the get-go yeah so now you're saying come on board come and partner with us we are mm. giving you a chance to partner with us yeah. but wherever we're saying uh, with your small contribution of 600 rand we give you some products to go and use mm -hmm. and upon using the products we are certain we are 100 percent certain you're going to refer them to other people mm. instead of you referring doing referrals because you always do referrals on a daily basis mm. to the big chain stores sure you say go to pick and pay go to this and go i saw something on special sure. but you never get anything for a referral sure. you say come and partner with us we'll give you a, 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 a a lifetime membership whereby you'll get a discount a 10 percent discount on all our products mm. a 10 percent discount on all our uh, services from our partners like the doctors and all the other uh, partners that are coming on board yeah so uh, in the process we are trying to build other industries because even on the incentives that we give out we get some products that are locally made mm -hmm. We're supporting the arts and crafts, all those ladies that are doing our arts mm -hmm. and crafts. Then mm -hmm. we're saying, let's buy them and then give them out as uh, incentives. And that's supporting the rural communities as well in the process. Nice. So you get a lifetime membership and you also, opportunities that come 
on board and expansions that 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 we venture into mm -hmm. then you have an opportunity to partner with us like you're going to buy shares mm -hmm. and now you're going to have ownership on the oh wow company. that is amazing yeah. that so is with your 600 amazing. rand you get shares you get your part of the share of of, of florid mm -hmm. but because now we have to concentrate on the production and the research you have to go and do the marketing yeah but you're gonna market because you have used the products so you're gonna do the marketing and with all the market that you're bringing we are going to give you up to the first cycle is, is for four people mm -hmm. and then you go up to the cycle nine whereby on cycle nine you get three million five hundred thousand on cycle eight you get nine hundred thousand mm. on cycle seven you get two hundred and forty five thousand mm. plus a car worth three hundred thousand oh wow and you have you also get uh trips overseas trips okay the incentives for every level yeah yes. yeah and this is actually amazing because even stu students actually can take part in this because yeah. As a UNISA student, yeah. it's it's part time, it's yes. distance learning. Yes. So you can just have something in the pocket, yes. and you're always interacting with people. So why not? And we call it CEO Creators because we feel that with the money that is coming, uh, you can create your build your own start your own industry. Mm -hmm. So we know it's there are no jobs. Yeah. So. We feel that with the kind of money that we give out as intensive as, as incentives, because now you have partnered with us, then we're saying we're gonna create a lot of CEOs, mm -hmm. a lot of industry is gonna come up from those. Hmm. Where can people get more information about purchasing the brand, about being part of the marketing team to sell the brand and to be entrepreneurs as a whole while they're expanding the brand, the brand rather to other people? Yeah. We are on WhatsApp mm -hmm. on 071-090-8232 and we are on Facebook, mm -hmm. we are on Twitter, we are on Instagram, we have, uh, we are on email, mm -hmm. is it info, info at Florat, mm -hmm. Florat is F L O double -R, R. A double T mm. dot C O dot L S. Mm. And some people ask why Flora? Why an English name? That's because our main focus has always been international. Yeah. The F L O stands for my mother's name is Florence. Mm -hmm. And the Rat stands for my father's name was Irat. So I combined the two because they've always been such an inspiration to yeah. me. Yeah. So that's why it's called Flora. Ma'am, thank you so much for your time. We have learned so much about skin care, about hair care, about your brand and the empire that you're about to start for the people of South Africa, yeah. Africa in general, just so that we can just bring the money back to us and then we can expand as a continent. I like that a lot. Thank you so much for thank, your time. Thank you very much. <laughs> And that was it with the interview, Florette Cosmetics, Florat Cosmetics, if so to say specifically. They are focusing on targeting skin and hair problems. So we have moss coming in future. We have body um, lotion. We have skin care. We have facial, if you have facial issues, pigmentation, as she said earlier, if you have pimples, if you have scars, they have you connected and they have you ensuring that your skin is healthy and is healthy in a natural way so make sure that you communicate with them on social media platforms at florat at florat on twitter and on instagram facebook you can also search for that name and you can just interact with them and if you also want to put money in your pocket you know as a distance learning learner you can ensure that you can communicate with them in terms of how you can distribute their products to different people because they are testament in what it has to offer to the people out there so hope you're inspired and i hope you make sure that you go on your social media platforms and check out this cool cosmetics brand but for right now i need to give you dj fresh featuring busiswa with mela hope you enjoy it <laughs>